What's up guys, this is Shellshock from CTUSA Mini 4 Drive Racing Squad and I'm a teacher here in New Works. Um, last two weeks ago I had a race in New York and I never got a chance again to uh, race against the New Yorkers. They had a box stock category, which is I never won. won. And I made three cars specifically for box stock category. And before I start about box stock category, um, I just want to let you know about the rules. Everything has to be straight out from the box. And um, before I was informed that I can't mix match, but I guess we can mix match because some of the racers over there mix, mix match their parts as long as everything has to be from the box. Um, as long as it's not a hop up part, as long as it's not a bearing or an FRP. Polycarbonate body is allowed, but everything should be from the box. So 3.7371 gear is not allowed because there's no such kit with the 371 um, gear. So everything is like 351, 3421, or 41 or 51. Um, all, also, we're only allowed to use um, 130 stock motor, which is the white M-Bell. We're not allowed to um, to use the old one, which is the blue end-bell. Like all the races over there that knows about the blue end-bell, it's faster than the 130 motor. Um, can, as usual, we can use double shaft or single shaft. Um, but what everything has to be from the box. We're also using only alkaline batteries, which is not rechargeable. It's Fujitsu. It's Fujitsu Gold. Um, I don't have one with me, but because I, I don't know if I have one with me, because I oh actually, uh, no, I don't have one with me. I think, yeah, I don't have one with me. But Fujitsu Gold is the one that we use. Um, it's only alkaline battery, so you really have to like be careful, like how fast your stop motor can go. Um, uh, I made the car. I made three cars for this category. And also I noticed this category is close to the Supra stock in the Philippines. Not Supra, but the Pro stock. I mean the Pro stock in the Philippines because everything has to be in the box. No bearings, no whatever, right? No hop apart, no offset, no hard tires. Um, I think some kits have hard tires, but not from like, not the white one that comes from a different, like from a hop up part. It should be the one from the Stargate, I think. Some that, some kind of that, that kind of, um setup but it's so, so close to the pro stock i never played pro stock in the philippines but it seems like it's close so um i asked some advice from sir jing sir jing what's up sir joey and jerome three three players from the philippines that are racing supra and pro stock they helped me on my setup thank you guys i owe you one so um sir jing is from team putek sir joey is from cavite and jerome um from silan cavite too they're both awesome racers. Um, my first, the one that I, the, my first build, because I didn't know that I can mix, mix match, I only found out too late, is uh, my uh, my first BG setup, my uh, broken, broken Gigant. Um, so when I found out about that, I built um, a white chassis from Strato Vector, from uh, Lil's Habby, and then I have the, um, this um, black, um, carbon wheels which I got from um, from a kit and this is just a regular low bounce lama low bounce not low bounce um a regular low profile tire from a race stinger and a stock motor obviously and I had a broken guy in body shell and I got from the AR chassis I have um, a low friction um, low friction um, 13 millimeter I think or 12 but it broke during the race, so I can't find it. So that's pretty much my setup. And I have the bit, the broken guy in like a regular roller over here. So that's pretty much what I did. But it's not a regular broken guy in wheels, which is more for um, it's it's kind of wide here, and this one's like a little bit narrower front. So they said this is pretty stable without the tail, and it's pretty stable. You'll see the race how and on the race how it performs. Um, I will not spoil the video, you guys have to look at it, but this is the first setup that I did and I'm pretty happy and I'm like really really curious and I'm really really amazed how this thing can be stable on the track. Um, the next one is Sylvia. Oh, actually, by the way, this is Bogart. Uh, second one is Sylvia. Sylvia the Silver Machine, I call it. This is a Shadow Shark setup. So it's pretty much straight from the box. Everything is the low friction and everything. 
So Sylvia, um, I made this one, but I messed up the switch. So you'll see in the video what happened when I mess up the switch. But it's it's fast. I like it, and it's pretty stable. It's just some sometimes um, <laughs> new mistakes happens. Yeah. So again, it's my first time. I mean, um, it's my first time really focusing on a box stock race because usually I just built one just to race. Um, my favorite one is Destiny. Which is, this is a gift from Samson actually. Samson from Canada, what's up bro? I'll be seeing you soon, racing with you guys. I miss racing with you guys. Um, for all the Canada pe peeps over there, what's up guys? Um, Samson gave me this this kit because um, he won the raffle uh, last time there when I raced in Canada. And he gave me this kit as a gift. Uh, he, he told me to bring this back to Connecticut. So it's pretty much like everything's from the box too. All the rollers are the same from the box. And this one's a monster. And you'll see in the video how Destiny performs on the stock race. It's pretty exciting. I didn't know the box stock would be exciting. And also, we had the light dash challenge. You know, we get to challenge everybody. Like, we just talk. Like, we're like, oh, let's have a light dash race. And I haven't cleaned. Everybody, everybody knows Barcelona. And... The track layout, I forgot before I tell you, it's a box stock race, but we have the digital turn. It's a huge digital curve, go all the way under the track and you'll see it. And I'll post the layout before I start the video too. But this is Barcelona and it, it does have a rear sliding damper. And obviously everything has to be Tamiya. So everything is to have Tamiya part. Everything is Tamiya. So yeah, and we I run a light dash with this. And you'll see how Barcelona performs because everybody knows Barcelona by this point. Uh, the last one, we had the Hyper Dash Challenge. So we just like, oh, let's do some Hyper Dash Challenge. So we all race a uh, Hyper Dash. And I use my double shaft um, MS chassis built. It's um, Fate. Fate right there. So he did perform really well. And I like it because, um, as you can see, it's uh, super large diameter wheels uh, with some offset tires for cornering and it does have a rear sliding damper. This rear sliding damper is from Jeff, uh, my sponsor from JHT. It's a rear sliding damper that I got from him. My brakes over there is kind of worn out, worn out now. And um, I have green brakes up front. Sir Joey, thank you again for coaching. <laughs> and um, yeah, it does this. The advantage of Jeff Yeh sliding damper for me is it it got bounced back really fast. It really performed well in the digi curve, and I'm really thankful that he gave this one to me. It's it's durable too. Like I had a sliding damper with my uh, with with hope. I break I broke that sliding damper up front. Gears were broken, and the sliding damper up front was broken, totally broken. So. I never got a chance to fucking race it. Just to um I just raced it and then for a test run and it broke. And then Cheddar. Cheddar now is under construction in my room. It's uh it's broken. But Cheddar didn't perform well. It does have a sliding damper and I put a light dash motor in it. It didn't perform well. I embarrassed myself. But I'll try to figure it out what's up with MA because MA is not really my uh my forte. So guys, as I always say, enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like. This is Shell Shop. Always ra race humble. We learn from you. You learn from us. Check out that track layout, all right? Have fun. Peace. I'm gonna focus on my favorite card, it's my favorite. Oh. <laughs> kind of. Six, two, one, go. Ah! You guys are fast! Oh shit. That hurt. That hurt. You <laughs> popped there, buddy! Oh my god. <laughs> Out. Ah, uh, your car's stable, man. Good job. Last lap.
There you go, you won. <laughs> ah, I can't even make it to the finish line. All right, go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Light dash. Light dash. Light dash. Three, two, one, go. Stay down, stay down, Barthi. Yeah. That's light there? Yeah. Ah! Come on, stay there. Two more laps. Come home! That ninja curve is painful. Come on, let's go. Yeah, that's yep. All right, ready, Lewis? You go, Lemon. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. Yeah. All right. Yes, Three, two, one, go. Uh oh. Oh, he's coming up. That was the first one. Great. How many laps though? Six. 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 Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 Oh. Alright. Three. Two. One. Go. Stay down. Alright. Somebody went out. Oh. oh. Two. One. Go. Stay down. Four. Four. 
No, 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 Stay there. Oh no, you can't run it like that. I do. I know. I do. Grab it. <laughs> oh, and it's to do. It's to go. Oh, 
Ready? Oh, I'm three, two, one, go. Nine, okay, nine. Oh, 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 oh. one's out already. Destiny, you can make it. You can make it. You can make it, buddy. You can make it. To catch up. Catch up. Oh my god. Catch up. Four. Catch up, buddy. You got this. You got this. Oh. You can do it. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> One more lap. Yes, that was close. And you're home. Come home, baby. Come home. Come home to daddy. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs>